In today's lesson, we'll be learning how to do operations with fractions. To begin with, a fraction is a ratio of two numbers, it's a comparison of two numbers. On the top, you have the numerator, which is the desired part, whatever you're measuring. And on the bottom, you have the denominator, which is how many total parts um, you've broken your whole up into. Uh, in order to um, begin, we'll start with adding and subtracting. Adding and subtracting, the steps are nearly identical. There's only one real big difference, um, so we group those two steps together. The first thing you want to do is to convert any mixed numbers into improper fractions. You know, we, we uh, even though it's possible sometimes to uh, to add two mixed numbers, it's a lot easier just if you switch them to improper. You'll see how to do that when we do the examples. Uh, the next thing to do is uh, is to have a least common denominator. In order to add or subtract two fractions, the denominators have to be the same. The skill that's involved in making those denominators the same is known as the least common multiple. Next, if your denominator changed due to step two, you have to change the numerator accordingly. So we're going to multiply the numerator by the exact same number that you multiply the denominator. Then, this is the one step that's different. If you're adding, you add the numerators. If you're subtracting, you subtract the numerators. But you want to pay attention to the fact that we're only going to uh, add or subtract the numerators, and the denominators would stay the same. Finally, the last step is conditional. Sometimes we'll do it, sometimes we won't. Um, and that's that we're going to reduce if possible. If but by the time you're done, your numerator and denominator have a common factor, we're going to reduce by dividing both of those numbers by that common factor. You'll see this also when we do the examples. Next, we'll shift to multiplying and dividing, which are not only similar, they're basically identical because we won't actually divide fractions. When it comes to dividing, we'll learn to switch it to multiplication so that we can multiply. First thing we want to do, again, is convert any mixed numbers to improper fractions. We want to do that automatically before we start worrying about doing any operations. We only want to work um, with improper fractions, not mixed numbers. Multiplying is only really two steps, and actually they can be done in whichever order you'd like. I like to look for common factors and reduce first. When you reduce, you can reduce any. Since you'll have more than one fraction, you can reduce any number um, that's in a numerator on the top with any number that's on the bottom, and you do so, again, by greatest common factor. Uh, and then when it comes time to multiply, you multiply numerators with numerators and denominators with denominators. These steps can be done vice versa. You can choose to multiply first and then reduce, but um, what you'll find is that the reducing might, may be more difficult because the numbers are going to be bigger when it comes time to reduce. When you divide fractions, again, we want to uh, convert any mixed numbers to improper. We don't want to deal with mixed numbers. But instead of actually dividing the fractions, we're going to do a process known as multiplying by the reciprocal. You may have learned this a few different ways. The one I've heard is copy, change, flip. This is a sequence. It specifically means copy the first fraction, change the operation. Obviously, we're going to change the operation to multiplication. And then specifically, we flip the second fraction. On, the, on whatever fraction comes after the division sign, we're going to make the numerator into the denominator and the denominator into the numerator. And once this has been accomplished, well, now you can just go right back up to the top and follow the rules up here that we uh, followed for, for multiplying fractions. That's it for the lecture for uh, operations with fractions. There will be more to come uh, in the video for the examples.